On TikTok, posts with the hashtag ADHD have about 23 billion views. Cases of ADHD or attention deficit hyperactivity disorder are skyrocketing, but what's the cause? Is the rise in ADHD diagnoses a fad or is it finally getting the recognition it deserves? If ADHD is underdiagnosed, then we're letting huge numbers of people struggle. But if it's the opposite, then we're pathologizing and drugging normal human variation. Philip Asherson from King's College London says that we're still underdiagnosing the condition in adults and that it's been underdiagnosed for years. Getting a diagnosis is no easy task either. It can take several months, if not years, just to be seen. But that diagnosis can be life-changing for people. Research has found that getting a diagnosis for ADHD in adulthood has led to better functioning in life and in work and overall improved quality of life and self-esteem. Asherson's research suggests that people now seeking a diagnosis have previously sought help and been diagnosed with a different condition like anxiety or depression, suggesting misdiagnosis. So then is there a way to more accurately diagnose ADHD than with our current cognitive tests and questionnaires? Studies using EEG to record electrical activity in the brain have found that people with ADHD typically have higher levels of theta brain waves, which are associated with more zoned out behavior as opposed to more on task beta waves. One EEG device was approved by the FDA in the U.S. in 2013 to diagnose ADHD, and it started appearing in more clinics across the country, but not everyone agrees that there's enough research to support this. Researchers have identified additional symptoms like poor time perception and problems with emotional regulation. ADHD has also been associated with enhanced creativity and hyper-focus when it comes to subjects that interest the person. And for this reason, some experts are pushing for it to be renamed attention regulation disorder because it's not really a lack of attention, but rather a lack of control where that attention goes. What's clear is that there's still much to learn about ADHD. Hopefully as scientists continue to better understand the condition, we can better diagnose it in both children and adults.